So you want to put an image on a button in Android. This video will show you how to do it quickly. I have a separate video that goes through the entire color wheel and how to pick a color and how to put that color on a button. Uh, that video went about uh, 12 minutes long, so this is just a quicker version if you just uh, you already know what image you want and you want to put it on a button. Let's start with the image. It's important to have consistent iconography throughout an Android app because Android's big on promoting learning. In other words, you saw this icon in one app, now you see an identical icon in another app and you know predictably what it's going to do. So Android helps us out with this. They give us some predefined images that we can customize. I'm going to go to my project view, right click on drawable, and I'm going to choose new and then image asset. This brings up a little screen with several options. Now the launcher icon is the icon that you see on the home screen of an Android device, the icon you click on to open your app. That's not what we want. We want an action bar or tab icon, and this one's gonna be an upload icon. Notice I can click on this clip art here, and it's going to bring up this library of clip art. And this is where I say it's consistent iconography. These are the icons that you'll typically see in an Android app. So I can do something like upload, and you see there's a little file upload here, and I choose OK. Now currently it's black with a transparent background, which is great if we have uh, app themes that are black in color, but that's not practical, right? So we want to be able to choose our own color. So go down here to theme and choose custom, custom color, and then you can pick a color uh, from, the, from the color wheel here, or you can pick some colors you've used previously down below here. Uh, if you need some inspiration on finding a good color, I'll point you to the other video I made that actually goes through the color wheel and how to choose a color, especially if the person you're building the app for doesn't know what color he or she wants to use. Nonetheless, I go ahead and, uh, actually I'm going to go back, sorry, I'm going to call this IC underscore upload, so I'll remember what it is. Okay, uh, everything else looks good. I choose next and then I choose finish. It will take a few moments and then it's going to prompt me with a little box about what I wanna to add to my project. So we'll let it work through this. While it's doing that, I'm going to go back to my look and feel. And now we need to actually add a button to our layout. Now be very careful here. If you want to put an image on a button, you probably don't want to choose the widget called button. Uh, you want to choose the one called image button. Image button has an attribute called source. Button does not have an attribute called source. The attribute called source is where you put the image that you want to be on top of this button. So that confused me for a while. Maybe that's why you're here watching this video because you went up and or added just a general button when what you actually need is this image button. I don't blame you. It certainly confused me. So I'm going to drop this down in this little toolbar where I have existing buttons. And what's interesting is notice what happens now. It goes to the images that are part of my application and says, oh, okay, which one of these do you want to put on top of that button? And take a look. Remember this guy? I see upload, the one that we just made. I choose OK. And it might be a little tricky to see just because of um, uh, I've squished some things together. So I can zoom up a little bit. And you see, sure enough, what do we have? We have a button with our image on top. If it did not give you the right image or if you want to change the image, no problem. Just select the button, choose View All Attributes, and come down here to SRC. SRC. Click that, and once again we get the screen again, and once again we can choose whichever one we want. If we want to make it one of the earlier icons I made, or if we want to stick with IC Upload, uh, either way will work, and we can always change these buttons later. Uh, change these images later. So images on buttons, a very good idea for several reasons. Number one, pictures are faster than words. So people will recognize an image quicker than they can read a word. Number two, the consistent iconography and promoting learning. And number three, if you have an icon on a button instead of a word, that's one less thing that you need to translate for another audience. Or looking at it the other way, if you have an app that's written only in one language, but it's full of well-known icons, there's a good chance that your users uh, who don't speak the language the app was written in are still going to be able to at least navigate through the app and understand it. So that's adding an image to a button. Hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments in the comments section. Thank you.